Well, any mental scarring carried by this squad after falling at the semi-final hurdle in 2019 is also felt by Sir Steve Hansen. The coach of that World Cup campaign admits mistakes were made following the quarter-final win over Ireland four years ago. He told us why he's certain the All Blacks leadership group here in Paris will have learned from that adversity. You look back to 19 subconsciously, I think we eased a bit because we played so well against Ireland and we took a breath. You know, I didn't push enough buttons, I probably didn't pick the right side. And there's a large group of the guys that were part of that. Uh, we didn't get that right. So they've had that feeling, they've had that disappointment, they know what's required. And everybody that felt it and was part of it that are still there, um, I think it helps all of them. And you know, there is quite a large percentage of the management group that, uh, have been there before. They've not only experienced uh, losing it, but they've also experienced winning it as well. So they know what's different and what it feels like. And I think that's a big and uh, important part of the puzzle as well. They'll be in the house, I think, um, and they won't be taking a breath. They'll be actually getting ready. Hey, we've got to front up here again to do this. And um, so it's the, one of the benefits, I guess, of having that adversity in the past. You know, as far away as we are, I can guarantee Fozzie will have them tuned up, ready to go. So um, if they get that part of their preparation right and it's dead set and, and um, genuine, uh, you know, we're a very good rugby side. Uh, we can go in with confidence, but not uh, arrogance. Yeah, some wise words from a man who has absolutely done it all.